Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and a quick update uh, regarding uh, the situation in the Ukraine war uh, because I need to rush out uh, because of some major thing uh, in my life I'm going to let you know later and uh, so uh, so I just want to hi uh, bring up uh, two different uh, locations about some major things that is currently happening around there and then uh, I will do the sub wrap later tonight uh, because you can see that it's uh, actually quite bright now, out there right now so uh, it's actually uh, around 12 noon in my time so i will do it at night another eight hours uh then i'll do the sip wrap so you and uh then i'll get, go through all the detailed information so uh, just some quick update well uh, the, Ru the russian forces is conducting some major offensive operations within the crimea front uh, particularly uh within the sedevansky forest tree and uh, around the northern part of the Rykhorivka as they are pushing the ukrainians uh, against the river at the Savinsky Donetsk River, currently the, this is the river here. They're trying to push them out, push the uh, Ukrainian forces out. Ukrainian forces is counter attacking over the Dibrova region. Another of these Russian uh, main push is over in the Terny Yampolivka region, with uh, major operations are uh, being conducted on the eastern part of Terny towards and uh, towards Yampolivka. This entire region here, the Russians are making major push in this area here, and uh, and there's also uh, another part uh, that I want to highlight. Uh, I mean, this is not all there's actually a lot more information but i just want to highlight a bit uh, so that you guys uh, have some information uh, before i come back to do the full sip wrap over at the novo mihalivka region the russian forces continuing uh, their offensive uh, to capture uh, novo mihalivka the main thing is that the ukrainians actually launched a counter-attack over in the southern part of novo mihalivka uh, but due to a heavy uh, bombardment by the russian forces the ukrainian forces have to abandon this attack this attack and uh another I just give you one more just give you one more before the uh i i, I go uh okay uh russian defense ministry have announced uh, the capture of marinka this acknowledged by uh, zalushny and this is also acknowledged by deep state ua and one more thing i just give you just one more in this quick sip wrap uh there is claims that the some kind of a chemical weapon is being used by the russian side on the ukrainian forces over at robotine and uh, the 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 substance that was a uh, claim is chloropicrine uh chloropicrine i've uh, i've searched what is this this is actually a world war one version of tear gas so uh, this is used in world war one is a form of tear gas in in by itself it doesn't do much it only cause vomiting and convulsion uh just cause people to feel very uncomfortable um but uh, in World War One, this was used a bit differently uh, in the sense that it was used so that people would take off their gas masks because it was, they, they are vomiting and, dis and feel very uncomfortable. But then in World War One, there's a lot more types of gas that is being used at the same time. So once they take off their gas, then they will expose themselves into more into a more toxic gas that we should then kill them. So you know, in World War One, they use a lot of chemical warfare and all these gas are used in a mix. So uh, this is a form of tear gas. It's just to make people very uncomfortable. Uh, allegedly the russians are using however the riba reports that uh, due to rainy rainy sea, uh, rainy weather uh, they are not really fighting as much so uh yeah there's some conflicting claims so i don't uh so i can't really do much more uh, than this so anyway uh i'll see you guys in the sub wrap later uh tonight and i'll see you guys in the next update